Greetings guys. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through how you can resize images in bulk. Specifically, when you have an aspect ratio that has been provided, but you want to change the aspect ratio and you want to convert it in bulk. Instead of doing it image by image in Photoshop or in Canva or any other tool, you are actually able to process hundreds of images using the bulk image editing tool. Let's start off by creating the workflow and selecting an image. I have a whole range of standard images, uh, sample images that I'm going to quickly take you guys through. So let's look at an option like this one, for example. Now this image, let's say I want to I have a range of 15 images. I want to create a banner size image for all of them. So I'm just going to bring in subject driven generator fill, put in my new width, which would let's say be 2000 by 1200. I provide the top margin at 10 left and bottom margin zero and right margin at 10 and select the alignment center and center. Now you'll be able to see how we're kind of able to stretch the image while focus remaining on the model itself, which is very unique because you don't have to individually select these aspects. As you see, we've kind of created a lot more natural looking outlook here. And we quickly save this as genfill test and create the workflow. The moment we've created the workflow, we can use this workflow, upload a whole range of images. Let's take all of these images here, which is 13 images and process all of them in one go. So that's the beauty that, you know, you are able to actually do it in bulk instead of doing one, 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 one single image. And that's where you'll start seeing the results starting to come out. Uh, very, very fast as it's a generative process. It takes a little longer for the results to come out. So as you saw what happened here, I'll quickly show you with another sample image as well. Let's take this one while these images process. Here too, you will actually be able to see how we're able to maintain this and create, generate the background around. This becomes super important when we are adopt, adopting images across different platforms and we need specific types of aspect ratios there. While we were doing this, our results have already started coming out. So there you go. We are kind of stretching the background without one knowing that a lot of it has been artificially generated as well. So that's a little bit about how you can use generative fill in bulk. And I'm going to put up a nice uh, understanding of this in the description as well. Please visit our website and use this function. You already get 100 free credits to try this out. Thank you so much.